मिस्टर डेप्यूटी स्पीकर सर आई सपोर्ट द बिल प्रजेंटेड बाय श्री थॉमस आई बिलोंग टू द रूरल एरिया एंड देयर फोर विदाउट गोइंग वेरी डीप इन टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एंट्री केसिस आई वुड लाइक टू साइट एन एग्जाम्पल विच वुड मेक इट वेरी क्लियर एज टू वॉट विल हैपन टू द कंट्री If we do not pass this bill, if there are only five earning members in a family of ten persons and the other five members are unemployed, it becomes impossible for the family to develop and become weak from within, and finally it disintegrates. Similarly. In the case of a country, if crores of people are unemployed, it is not only affects the overall production of the country, and reduces the purchasing capacity of the people, but also weakens the country. The most unfortunate thing is that it results in crisis. of confidence and the people are disillusioned and in the end out of these evils anarchy is born if i say that a similar situation prevails in the country today it will not be an exaggeration in 1951 the number of unemployed people was about 51 or 52 lakhs this figure increased to 280 lakhs in 1969-67 and at present it is 4 crores and these figures are only of those who have registered themselves with the employment exchange apart from them there are crores of educated and illiterate people who are unemployed even if they are employed it is on a part time basis and if they are engaged on full time job they are underemployed as a result of which considerable amount of labor potential is being wasted and consequently our country is being weakened from within we may have a shining exterior but the country is decaying from within this is because only a handful of people have reaped the benefits of the five year plans and the rest of the crores of people have been deprived of it the fruits of independence have not reached the harijans and other weaker sections of the society even after 40 years of independence there is an extraordinary gap between the rich and the poor in this country we have on the one hand a handful of people enjoying unlimited pleasures and on the other there are crores of people leading a life of poverty and deprivation the benefits of development have not reached them as a result of which even after 40 years of independence 42% of the people are living below the poverty line the government may define poverty line as it wishes but the real meaning is one who is not able to afford two square meals a day when one is hungry and this can be felt and understood if one has a close look at the people living below the poverty line it means not being able to afford medicines or medical aid living below poverty line means to be born under 
the open sky and to die like a worm this is the definition of those living below the poverty line even after 40 years of independence india is a country which is divided into two separate classes on the one hand there are a handful of people who are immersed in the life of earthly luxuries and on the other vast multitudes of people are leading a life of helplessness and deprivation the government may claim that many programs have been implemented for their welfare and there are also programs for providing self employment to the educated youth if all these programs are evaluated the conclusion is that the funds allotted for them are not utilized properly you expect that a certain number of people would get employment opportunities by the aforesaid programs but the results achieved are not to the desired extent the funds are pocketed by those who are responsible for their implementation and the real beneficiaries are thus deprived of those funds the schemes are not benefiting the poor people but the irony is that if some individual organization group or a certain section of society or community raises its voice in protest 